My name is Shannon Ayers and I'm from Frisco, Texas. I'm here representing myself and I came today to speak in favor of HB 900. For more than a year, I've been pleading with several local school districts to remove sexually explicit books from their libraries. In November of last year, I went viral after reading an excerpt from a book at the Frisco school board meeting. The school board president asked me to stop reading because quote, there was a child in the boardroom, unquote. The obvious hypocrisy was astounding. The book was in the last phase of being challenged using the reconsideration process. That means the first and second committees who read, who read the book for its appropriateness determined that it was fine. Here's the excerpt that I read. Quote, this one couple stumbled into my room and asked if they could use the room anyway with me still in it. They closed the door and started kissing. After a few minutes, the boy's hand went up the girl's shirt and she started protesting. Pretty soon, he took off her bra and started to kiss her breasts. And then he put his hand down her pants and she started moaning. He reached to take off her pants, but she started crying really hard. So he reached for his own. He pulled his pants and underwear down to his knees. Please, Dave, no. But the boy just talked soft to her about how good she looked, and, he, and she grabbed his penis with her hands and started moving it. The boy pushed the girl's hand, head down, and she started to kiss his penis. She was still crying. Finally, she stopped crying because he put his penis in her mouth, and I don't think you can cry in that position. Unquote. Just two weeks later, after being chastised by the school board president for reading this in front of a child, she was the deciding vote to keep this book in our libraries, and it's still there today. And this is the perks of being a wallflower. That's where that's from. HB 900 is needed because school districts across the state are downright refusing to remove these books. They hide behind a twisted misinterpretation of the First Amendment and have actually argued that some children may have experienced the horrific scenarios in these books and need to see themselves in the books that they read. I would argue that when a child is raped or coerced into sex acts as an unwilling participant, offering a book that depicts these scenarios normalizes sexual victimhood. As a society, we have always aimed to protect children. We don't let them buy alcohol, cigarettes, or guns. We don't let them enter rated R, X, or N17 movies. And in fact, an adult providing this type of content to a child outside of school would probably be charged under Texas Penal Code Section 4324 because we protect children. Sadly, though, even our sheriff has turned a blind eye to this issue. Despite having clear obscenity laws, he said that my definition of obscenity may not be the same as someone else's. He said I should be talking to my legislators, not him, and that I should be asking for better laws. So here I am asking you not only to pass this bill, but to pass it unanimously. My prayer is that in what is arguably the most divisive time in my life, that we can at least show unity when it comes to protecting our children. Please protect children from sexually explicit material and start by passing HB 900. Thank you. Um, 